Are you a Yoshi? I'm not a goddamn Yoshi! When did you get that muffin? Muffin button. Quack! What a majestic creature. I'm out to you. This is the World Tournament Arena. Accurate. Yeah, yep, that's where you are. Uh, who are those guys? They, they just appeared out of nowhere. Weren't they here before? All right then. Now, what was your name again? Ah, yes, Vegeta. Ah, yes, Vegetable. Of those cretins with everything you have. I want their energy. Gimme, gimme. Shut Fuck up. you. I only want to fight Kakarot. Whatever, he's the strongest one there anyway, that's fine. Yeah, right? Else. What's going on here? How is this buffoon still not completely under my control? I can fucking hear you, asshole! This is a first. You're not making your case oh, well, any better. I suppose it doesn't matter. No! No! no. What are you doing? Vegeta, stop! Oh, that was actually Goku being irresponsible there. Oh, jeez, yeah. Actually, yeah. Because, I mean, in the uh, in the show, Vegeta just turns to the side and blasts them. That was Goku block. He's like, no, 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 owie! Now, <laughs> right? Fight me, Kakarot. That was a real heel move there, Goku. Yeah, huh? Unless, unless you want me to add more bodies to the growing pile. Oh. That's nice and dark. No, Goku! Don't no! Do it. Don't! Don't if do you it! Fight here. You'll be playing right into Bobbity's hands. Your energy will be absorbed, and Majin Buu will be revived. And? Vegeta, I can't believe this. You are such a good guy. You, you are a good person. Mind on purpose, just so I'd fight you, you are our best friend, the paragon of mortal decency. Are you serious? I, I don't know why any of you are surprised. Seriously. Uh, uh, does this shock any of you? Really? You're only here in this world for a single day. And now, now we're being dragged into this waste of time and energy. It's really funny when people try and idolize Vegeta and, oh, damn. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Um, it's really odd to me when people idolize Vegeta. Vegeta's a piece of shit. He is. He's, he's, he is the most flawed character. You can you can totally try to idolize his single-minded attitude toward achieving a goal, but even that is destructive. Yeah. <laughs> There's a reason he was our number two villain. Yeah. He even when he's on the good guy's side, he's doing some of the most damage. Yeah. I've even had my life saved by this buffoon. Hi. Yep. That's me, buffoon. Son, buffoon Goku. No other people around. No. What? No. I'm about to go head to head with Vegeta. Why would I do that though? He's going to fight you anyway. If you I'll risk my life to stop you. you. I'll do anything it takes. I will die just to put an end to this. I will not let you fight. Dad. All right. Well, if you're gonna threaten me, you win. <laughs> <laughs> I give up immediately. Sorry. Get the fuck out of my way, Chrono. If you wish, I'll transport you somewhere else. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <clears throat> Welcome to the forest moon of Endor. I don't think he looks anything like Chrono. He's got Ta the hair. Tapion. No, Chrono Ta doesn't have that hair. You two fight. I mean, I know Tapion is Chrono, but T Tapion is like a mixture between oh, Supreme I Kai and uh, Chrono. Chrono actually has uh, Goku's hair. No, he has like he has uh, Cell Saga Gohan hair. Well, that's the, the short, basically that's that's not Goku hair. Hold on, Chrono. <laughs> I don't think so. Because it's like shorter in the back. That is fucking Goku's hair. Vegeta, start. Yes. <laughs> It, it doesn't have the same part. It's 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 definitely that Saiyan style though. Yeah. Uh, Tapion is Chrono meets Supreme. He, he is uh, basically in every create a character Dragon Ball game. That is stock hair Saiyan hair one. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Essentially. Oh, I gotta go. Oh god. Oh god. Bobby, teleport me to the bathroom. Oh, 
I, I think this is like the prime example of the uh, the long running and tired. Uh, oh God, what is it? Um, constipation, Dragon yeah. Ball joke. What? I command you. What do it, Vegeta? Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! I've already told you. As you're talking, I absolutely refuse to take. Rock, 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 rock. You have taken my mind. Oh, my he's gonna say the thing. Line. Say, say the thing, Bart. Line, Bart. Say Bart. Say the thing. Right. Yay! Unbelievable! I didn't think there were any mortals that could resist Bobbity's magic. There were probably some people waiting for that line, and we just stopped all over it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, they can play the game. <laughs> or go watch YouTube clips. Yeah, go watch another video than this one. Go ahead. Go away. Go on. Yeah, we'll be right here. We'll bring you right to the middle of our lair. I'm gonna destroy that egg. Shit! Stop him! <laughs> Gizzard wasteland. Oh man, we're back here. Yeah, got to fight where we fought previously. I, I think that would have been more interesting if they like if they're if this battle took place at the same spot where they fought originally. Would it have made the fight any better? I don't want to take damage. It would have made it a little bit more poignant. Like if they started in the same positions, Vegeta up on the rock. Can you imagine that? Like the visual motif repeating itself? Actually, I don't think that would have worked. The visual motif really only works because Vegeta at the time had a su uh, supreme yeah, he, power yeah, he over was, Goku. Yeah. But this I mean, time they're literally on even ground, so it makes sense that they start on even ground. <laughs> even though they aren't technically. Well, uh, the viewer doesn't know that yet. Yeah. Oh, hold on. There we go. How do you like it? Did you try it? Three samples of a butt kicking Halagoku. Nice combo, Vegeta. It's always weird to me when, like, the enemy has moves that you can't, like, especially when there are characters you can play as that you can never use. Right? Like those kicks? Mm hmm. Hey, Vegeta! Catch! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, shit. He's got extra evil in him now. He must have trained harder than me. Uh, yeah, no, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Like, let's completely ignore the fact that, you know, the Majin, it's a Majin power-up. Massive strike, Vegeta. Nice. Nice try. And? Oh. Uh. Oop, tanked it. Oh! Oh, that's right, he fires like three of them in a row. What a dick. You're a dick, Vegeta! Catch! Stop it! Aw, he, he dodged it. How dare he? Take the fuck out of that one. He's way worse at that move than I am. Speaking of which... Oh, that does nothing, though. It did enough. But imagine all the pride damage. Oh, yeah. What are you gonna shoot? Okay. Oh, 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 it's his oh, turn oh, now. Oh, 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 oh. Vegeta, Mom said it's my turn with the consecutive energy blasts. Honestly, though, this fight in the anime and in the manga is so. I know you're a naysayer with it. I know. Come on, do your final flash. Ooh. Oh, I thought I was gonna get the... Oh, oh what? Yeah, what? It's, uh, mine just fired through it. Weird. Yo. Fire three of them? Fires three. Final flashes. Oh, fuck! <laughs> what? Oh, oh, it was just at max range. Ah, ah. Still hit him. Raised out. What are you gonna do, Vegeta? Huh? 
How you gonna act? You gotta catch this? You gonna catch this ball? You gotta catch these balls. I stood whoa, too long. Whoa! 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 You gonna try to do the thing? I, I would like to. But he only does it when he's like super- There! Fuck! I had not seen him do a Galakon up until now, so I was kind of surprised he did it. All right, here we go. You want it? You want it, Vegeta? Come on. Oh god, missed me. You're the final flash, you fuck. Grab it. Do the fucking final flash, god damn it. Oh, oh yeah, that's three. Fires it three in a row. Ah, oh, fuck! Ah. Oh. I wanted to do it while. Motherfucker. I wanted to do it while sparking. Can I do it? No. You bitch. Yeah, I still am. Oh, damn. Ah! That, you know, from the angle, that means I fired through, through the, the Earth. planet. Yep. Damn. Still got an ass. Yeah. I think ultimate finishes give you, like, mega point boosts on that shit. You can't go back. Then you'd be weaker, Vegeta. Time is an arrow that marches forward. Always forward. Before I realized that I... I'd become soft. Like all of you, I, of all people, came to have a family. Also <laughs> what am I? And that's one now that yes, yes, midlife crisis, Vegeta. Do you really? <laughs> Do you? Do you afraid, Vegeta? I'm gonna do you a fuck! I remember when one of the F-bombs we dropped in Garlic Jr. was so good, I was like, I can't censor these. This cannot be censored. Yeah. Meanwhile, to avoid any damage to Majin Buu's ball, Bobby sent his minions to work! His minion. He, yeah. He ran out Mi of the rest minion. of them. Minion. For the minion. Well, Deborah, are you confident you have what it takes to defeat that earthling? Yeah, sure. The first hey. fight went great for me. Yeah, no, it, it should be fine. It's, it's cool. It's I cool. No I can just spit on him. Exterminating that trash. Hmm? Quump. That's all, folks. No, impossible. Where did all that energy come from? Goku and Vegeta fighting. That's yeah. right. Vegeta and my dad are both fighting at a level beyond Super Saiyan. But we're still going to call it a Super Saiyan, just a different form of it. Oh, massive damage. He's coming out! Martin Boo's coming out! I'm proud it's of him. his big coming out party. Well, with him at full power now, then I might as well try to do what I can to stop him. Gohan, you bigot. <laughs> no, I'm just imagining the fucking song. I'm coming, coming out. Ow. I was thinking of pink. Oh. I'm coming out, so you better get the, the party started. Because I'm a millennial. Song was all the rage when I was in sixth or seventh grade. I also am a millennial. Yeah. Oh, it's empty. That is the most depressing wonder ball of all time. No, no! My kinder egg was empty! I want a refund! It didn't even have cream! Right now! Martin I think that's I think that's supposed to be a is that an American Kinder Egg? I, I know the like the American Kinder Egg is split in half, so like one of like one side of it has the prize, and then the other side of it has like cream on the inside or something. It's bullshit. A regular Kinder Egg must just be a chocolate egg with a twin in the middle. Yeah. We'll have finally put an end to Like they mixed like they mixed mixed a Cadbury and a Kinder Egg 
to be like the same shit or something. I want a Cadbury egg now. I, I, they, even when I was a kid, those were always too sweet for me. Wow, mm -hmm. I'm actually sort of surprised. I mean, they are sweet as fuck though, like legit. The they're sugary fucking snacks. It's a fucking earlier. thing of chocolate full of basically glaze, I like donut glaze icing. A cloud? No, it's the smoke from before. That's what clouds are, Deborah. Huh? What is that? Clouds are just particulates that are visible in the air. You know what he meant. No, I don't. Don't pretend to know what I know. Boo! Legendary Majin, boo. I still don't know how I feel about the fucking re re uh, retcon that they did that Frieza suddenly had heard about Majin, Boo, and Beerus. I could understand maybe having heard, like, le like we don't know how long lived his race is. Uh, so I guess it's possible that legend traveled down of the ancient being Majin Buu. Beerus makes more sense. Yeah, well, like, they I, they mentioned in the series as a theology, like, Majin oh, Buu? yeah, Beerus, the god of destruction. Do we even know that he actually exists? And yes, yes, he does. That, yeah. That I mean, like, Beerus definitely makes more sense for them to have heard about because they are a big galactic <laughs> player. That family is so. Whenever a planet is to be destroyed or something, they would have definitely run into him. Also, there was apparently some comment that, like, so another retcon which I absolutely despise was Beerus wanting Frieza to destroy Vegeta. It wasn't that he wanted them; it's that he okayed it. Yeah, okay. I, I mean, that, that I, I agree. I don't like that because it's it's less about because it makes it sound like Frieza had to send a fax to be like, hey, is it cool if I kill these guys? Well. I'm, I'm better with him getting the okay to do it uh, hey, than being ordered doing? to do it. I don't I'm remember that. Me. Like, I remember, I remember, the, the, like, in uh, Resurrection F, the, the, the movie, food. I remember Whis exactly giving, like, a little throwaway sure line about, like, hey, didn't you, like, prepared. okay that destruction? Battle of Gods. After all was it that really? Yes, it was Battle yeah, of Gods. I thought it was Res F. No, because that's when Whis is getting him caught up on past events, remember? You want to challenge me, the great Devora? That was an awkward fucking... Yeah, weird cutoff. Majin Buu. Smoke effects are real good, though. I gotta give them that. Yeah. Oh, in the eyes. Oh, God! Oh! Oh, I see his blood! Oh! Who did that? Bobbity! Did you kick me in the face? Master Bobbity, help! That was incredible! Very good, Majin Buu! <laughs> Pokes him in the eyes. Point ah! He just skyrocketed. It's huge! It's huge. <laughs> okay, I won't lie! I now I want to just be doing the same with Majin Buu, poking him in the eyes, but doing a whole, ah! but doing a whole fucking, like, uh... Three Stooges I was confident. Except Curly's the one in charge. <laughs> All right, which are your three stooges? Uh, assuming that you watched them when you were younger. No, I didn't, unfortunately. Okay. I had known from the beginning that you mortals could have achieved so much more power. Because there, because there are like a couple of camps. There are like the people who liked Curly more. There are people that like Shemp more. Do you not even know who Shemp is? That method. What do you mean? Huh? Okay. Basically, there were three iterations of the three stooges. Okay. There was Larry, Curly, and Shemp. There was Larry Curly and Mo, or no, uh, Larry Mo and Shemp. Really Larry Curly and Mo, which is the most famous of yeah. the three. And nose. then there was Larry Mo and Curly Joe. I knew how to that was the last iteration, and are inarguably the worst. Okay. Well, no, I, I was unfamiliar with that. <laughs> oh, yeah, and uh, here we have Majin Buu right. not giving a shit about anything. Yeah, but. Listen, oh, I'll put you back if you don't do what I say! All right, toys. fine, whatever, I don't care. I want care. you to kill those two over there. Okay. So, I can't tell you who we got as Majin Buu right now. Um, we may someday win. do something with One this actor, sure. but we don't want to spoil alone. who who it might have been because he's actually kind of a big guy and the only way that we'd ever be comfortable saying who it was if we actually had if him. We, if we actually do something with Boo. Yeah, but... It as, of as of right now, we're focusing on a bunch of other things. Yeah. 
But we, uh, he did have a somewhat similar voice to this. For the original, but I oh, mean, yeah. as, his as, other ones. I yeah. fucking loved his Kid Boo. Oh, his Kid Boo was no, stupid no. good. Oh my it's god. It's exactly how I would have wanted to go with it, too. Um, but I've always thought about Majin Boo's voice. And so in the dub, you have this kind of higher pitched one. Check in the fits. Yeah. In the Japanese, it's something closer to this. It's closer to what Ameri <laughs> what American body is. Yeah, actually. Yeah, it, it's actually a little bit closer to that. Oh, fuck. Um, but honestly, just looking at Boo, I would have gone Thanks, it, like if I if I were to uh, adapt Boo from the manga with a new voice, I would have given him something closer to here. That's right. Who hungry? Who hit you now? Whoa, 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 where'd you go? Oh, ah! oh god. I'm your friend. Try and go Barney with him? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Also, I, I do love that Boo uses the Megaton Punch even before he's trained by Satan. Yay. It's like he already knew. I also appreciate that he uses the Megaton Punch because it's a super easy move to dodge and beat him up for. Oh, got him. Punishing the Super Dash. Always punish Super Dash. No, you go away. Cold Super Dash, what the fuck you doing? God, who fucking no selling everything. He's unbelievable. Nothing's hurting him. Even though I took down his health bars you and I called him fat. You go bye-bye! <gasps> oh, ah! Twink! Ah! <coughs> oh, oh! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Help. Ah! <laughs> I think it was the fucking spin that hit. Yep. <laughs> just the on and axis. <laughs> with no warning, too. It's just out of nowhere. Smack. Nothing will ever beat that Krillin blasting Vegeta in the background shot, though. That oh, yeah. Too oh, fucking good. Boo, feel free to finish the Supreme Kai off. Give him a happy ending. You'd have to turn him into something that's taro flavored. Oh, I like that idea. Yeah. Taro Boba. Deborah, you're still alive. Deborah, good. I could use a left hander. Lord Bobbity, this creature. Wait, Majin Buu. Is are you saying he's like got others. a left hand? Hey, that he's like, like, he's, sorry, like he's the left, left hand, hand. Like he's the left hand man. He's the devil. Yeah, I was about yes. to say. Yeah, left he handed be devil. Huh. All right, all right. Yeah. You know what? All right, cool. I've never met anybody who actually had to deal with that when they were young, but apparently there was a real fucking, like, uh, some real prejudice against people with left hand, uh, uh, like with left hands, who were left, yeah, who were fucking Southpaws for a long time. Huh. And, and that's just crazy to me. Bigotry against Southpaws, what the fuck? People will find any goddamn reason to treat other people like shit. Jeez. What's going on? I wonder how they treat the people that are ambidextrous. I guess they had to hide it. Uh, please, ambidextrous? That's not a real thing. You're either left-handed or you're right-handed, okay? What are you two doing here? You can't choose. Yeah. <gasps> what about you No, you guys? have to choose. You what have to choose which one it is. You two are in well, so much trouble. Also, what happened? Now. But it looks like that creep who spit on us died. And everyone what? Back to normal. <laughs> Any more questions? <laughs> <laughs> Ng. What is this unbelievable <laughs> energy? No, no it, it can't be. Is that Majin Buu? Yes. Majin Buu, devour this fool as well. Buu full of cookie. I wonder if they ever made uh, like animal crackers, but in like the shape of Dragon Ball characters, just like as a promotional thing with Buu. 
I do like the framing of that just minutes earlier. In this clip show. Was empowered by Bobbity's spell in the midst of the real Vegeta. They fought blah, 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 and then they're like, hey, victory for Vegeta! Vegeta has never lost a fight against Goku. Nope, Nobody never lost a one-on-one. -on -one. Me, so I'll be the one to get rid of him. I'll settle the score with you after that. <laughs> this goes over and kicks him. <laughs> if I make it back alive. I feel weird always Spoiler having. Spoiler alert! I feel, <laughs> I feel weird always having to remind people that when they're like, "Yeah, Goku beats Vegeta." I'm like, Goku has I never beaten Vegeta. Yeah. Face to face. Goku just beats other people who can beat Vegeta. Yeah, Vegeta does the jobber work so that Goku can look strong and get and get the win. Which is great, brilliant storytelling on the part of Toriyama. Yeah, so like, Vegeta never loses to Goku. But he loses but... to all the people who lose to Goku. Yep. That's it, huh? So yeah, we know Goku's stronger or better. I might as well destroy and, it while and I can. And at the point when he's fighting Perfect Cell, even, uh... Even Vegeta realizes, like, oh, fuck. God damn it, he's like, when, when Goku's like, yeah, we... We, we just kind of learned how to be Super Saiyan all the time. That was Vegeta just being like, fuck. Yeah. And which is amazing to me, because when he goes back into the time chamber, he doesn't try that. Well, that, part of that is Vegeta not wanting to do exactly what Goku does. Like, he just doesn't like the idea of... Okay, so if Goku does a push-up, Vegeta's never going to do another push-up. Right. That's... Vegeta. What have you done? It, it sounds like common sense, though, to be just like, oh, right. You know, I'll train my body so that it can be used to this output. My shit. So that fat bastard with the ugly mug is Majin <laughs> Buu, huh? Get oh. in my belly! That is it. You killed Go. That's an old reference. What ever happened to Mike Myers? Oh, he's still around. Doesn't do a whole lot nowadays. I mean, I mean I'm, sure, I'm, I'm sure he's like... I'm sure he is financially set forever after the Austin Powers. 175 million yeah. is his net worth right now. And you know what? He'll be fine no matter what. Yeah. Funny enough, I was just looking him up the other day because I was curious. He was a Bohemian Rhapsody. That's right. Yeah. That was the last real motion picture he was in for like the, in the last eight years. He was in Inglorious Bastards, and then after that, he barely did anything. Oh yeah, he was in that too. I guess, I guess he's trying to do like like he doesn't have to do the goofball comedy movies anymore. Yeah. So he's just doing things that he wants to be in, working with directors he wants to work with, and also Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> did you know that they had a script for Shrek Five? I it does not shock me at all. Yeah. They were going to make Shrek 5 happen, and then something happened that kind of canceled it. And, and maybe it was just due to the fact that, like, they kind of saw, do we really need a Shrek 5? Like, is that a thing that is necessary? Yes. Well, you get rumbled. All right. Actually, so... Oh, yeah, that kaiju movie. Yeah. The, the one that's being funded by the WWE. It looked interesting. Eh, it looks fine. I mean, it's... Look, I like Will Arnett, so... Jesus! You're way off base on that one. Oop. Oop, 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 oop. Oh, shit. It'd be funny if being hit by that is an insta-death. That would be great. Although the fact that you can keep fighting through it tells me that you're sentient while that's happening. Which is horrifying on a lot of levels. So that means everybody he turns into food knows what's happening around them. How, how does that even work? I don't know, but it does. Like, beyond just the whole organic in incompatibility of it all, how do they even see? Maybe they don't, maybe they only feel. Oh god, no. That's sort of worse. Got him! Jesus, like, the level of experience points you get at this point is ridiculous. Really, really? Hi! Oh, wait, no. Boo's super horny. Little does everybody know that Boo's just horny all the time, but he doesn't know how to handle it, so he just eats. What with those? Be taken care of, but you're the real cause behind all this, Bobbity. Nani? Ah! I fucking love when he got Darth Mauled in the anime. Just cut right in half. 
Just straight in two. Yeah, like I'm actually really sad that that isn't in here. I mean, I, I understand why not, because, you know, violence restrictions in video games, but come on. If you can't be as violent in the game oh, as God. you can in the show, I don't even know, man. Uh, here we go. Prob probably the best part of the Boo Saga to me. Oh, that's... Oh, oh, get back, you fat bitch. Wrecked. But yeah, the uh, this whole scene is actually really good. Like, as much as I rag on the Boo Saga, this part is actually legitimately, like... Because it actually does something to further a character. Yeah, Vegeta's character. It just about fills his arc. Like, the only thing left at that point is for him to admit that Goku is better at the very end, but still, this is this is the pinnacle moment for him. Yeah. Take good care of your mom for me. What are you talking about, Dad? This is a scene that, that like, uh, of all the scenes that we aren't doing, you, like, by dad. going into Boo, this is the scene that I regret I'm not doing the most. Majin yeah. Yeah, me too. I mean, obviously, no, right? We're mm -hmm. gonna fight too. I mean, I, I had been practicing for this for scene sure. for a long time. Trunks. I haven't given you a single hug since the day you were born, have I? Huh? No. <laughs> No. <laughs> Cats in the cradle with the silver spoon. Little boy boo and the man in the moon. What are Aww. you doing, Dad? Cut it out. You're embarrassing me. There you go. That's okay. Just petting his head. Uh... <laughs> Take care, Trunks. Huh? Oh, uh... dang it! Not nearly as uh, not nearly as gentle. Nope. Might want to help that one. I don't think I held back much. Far away from here as you can. I'm counting on you, Piccolo. Oh my God! You used my You're name. Prepared to die, aren't you? <laughs> you are prepared to die. Oh God. Boo strap. Boo strap. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't even seem angry. He's like, well, that was fun. That, that was crazy. God. Will I be able to see Kakarot in the other world? <laughs> no. I'm afraid not. You've killed too many innocent people. You're going to hell, bitch. When you die, you'll lose your body, and your soul will be carried off to a different world. Just say hell. I see. That's too bad. Now. Get out of here. Yeah, bad for you. <laughs> no! Boo, no, let you go! Wait, Majin Boo! That Boo name! You're going to have to defeat me first! <laughs> but I already did. Just turns him into chocolate. You oh, fuck! I finally know how to get rid of you. False. Once and for all. I mean, to be fair, he's okay. right. To be fair, hey. yes, he is accurate. What Destroying him on a molecular doing? level will work. He's gonna get himself killed. But he just doesn't have yeah, the ability. Time ever. He's finally fighting to protect someone other than himself. This is a little, uh, this just looks a little bit awkward because I get why they recorded it the way they did, but the, with them flying away and the uh, mouths wide open. This looks pretty. Oh yeah. I'm glad they put respect on this scene. I'm oh, they to had to. You into microscopic pieces. <laughs> like, this is shot for shot, the anime. Yeah. Just with really pretty particle effects. <laughs> Down to the lighting. Down to this. Look at that. Well, well, and then he looks to the right. Yes. Bam. <laughs> Even you, best buddy. That's what everybody wants. Yeah. It's good, though. Un unfortunately, that's not what we do. His name was Vegeta. Son of Vegeta. Of, of planet, the planet Vegeta. Vegeta. A Saiyan. God, that was pretty. I left a pretty corpse. <laughs> ah. Dusted. Dust in the wind. 
All we are is dust in the wind. Welcome back, Gakarai. We couldn't stop the fucking cutscenes, but here we are. Bobby's alive. Still alive. Also, oh, wiggle, wiggle. Turns out Vegeta just couldn't do it. Jesus fucking failure, as per the huge. It will uh, be a continued thing from now until basically forever. Yep. He is not allowed to get the big win. Vegeta, get a W. Mm -mm. You hate to see it. Not in Toriyama's world. Boo's back. And Maybe. he's bigger than ever. Uh, hurry up and heal me. That's not in Boo's repertoire. Would it be really funny if you just turned him into candy there? Oh, yeah. What are you waiting for? Do you want me to seal you up again? Boop. Yeah. <clears throat> Good. Well done, Martin Boo. Yay, Boo do good boy. Pat Boo's head. Honestly, if he just decided to give Boo more positive reinforcement, he probably wouldn't have died in the end. Yeah, if he wasn't such an asshole, it'd be great. But no, he's an asshole. The great Bobbity and Martin Boo. Kinda ha he kind of has to be in order for the plot to work, though. To a desolate hellscape, Martin Boo. That is sort of the interesting thing, though, right? You know, positive reinforcement can sometimes give people way better results. Mm -hmm. But he's too—he's got too much ego about him. He needs to prove that he's like he's in charge. He all has right, the power. All right, so Boo's not dead. Vegeta not failed, dead. and we're all gonna die. Budget Boo's not dead. Nope. Uh, no way. Yep. So with my I, like to I like to believe that Piccolo hasn't said a word, and Krillin's just reading that off his face. Get the kids and everyone else to Kami's lookout right now. Get everybody in one place. Make sure that everybody is in a in one spot, one singular location that is easily accessible by anybody who can fly. Just put all of the high power levels in one place, like a fucking beacon. At the top of the goddamn world. Next to the one guy that has the ability to basically resurrect everyone. Oh, right. Oh, why would you? Oh, no. First thing I would have done is Pickle was like, all right, Dende, we're going to hide you. We're going to hide you in a place no. that no one can find you. Let's put him in Kame House. I don't. Hmm? Okay. Where was Actually, that wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Yeah. Find a fucking, like, underground bunker. You know Dr. Brief has a bunker. Oh, 100%. He's got bunkers under bunkers. Mm -hmm. He's got secret bunkers. Everyone has a sub lab. Goku can now be Super Saiyan 2. And soon, even further beyond. I wonder what kind of monster he is. Hey, a bad one. Yeah. A pink one. Mm-hmm. Goku learned everything and got healed. Let's learn about fusion! The metamoran technique! Blah blah blah. That's right. Two can become one. Pickle up! This is good. This is good. I need that. I need that. I need that really bad. Another behind the scene tidbit. This scene or some scene around it is actually why we made Mr. Popo as strong as he was. Oh yeah. Uh, when Goten and Trunks wake up on the lookout alone. The first thing they see is Mr. Popo carrying like a plate or like a tray of something. And their first instinct is to go Super Saiyan and attack him full on. And what does Mr. Popo do? Does he crumble? Does he run away? Nope, he blocks their punches. These two Super Saiyan children like they're basically nothing. Yeah. Did someone summon Shenron? Bulma had all of the Which led us to believe like how fucking strong is he? He is absolutely stronger than Vegeta and Raditz and Nappa. Yeah. By the way, so th something happens here that will come back into play of later, course. and it's really interesting to me. Yeah, that's um, right. Bulma's gonna ask so Bulma is asking to Shenron to bring people back. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, no. If she makes all three wishes now, we'll have to. Also, wait hey, Justin here. Cook as Dende. I'll go try way, to way, way later in his life when he's having his a horse hard... is all crackly. Yeah. I'm gonna go stop this. Justin Cook's voice has aged quite a bit. Just okay, still playing middle so, schoolers, predicted. though. 
Boma and the others had summoned Shenron to bring back all those killed by Vegeta. The first wish. Um, specifically, I think what she does is she wishes back all the good people, all the, all the non-evil people who had died. Mm -hmm. And Vegeta does not come back. Bye, Shenron. See you in four months or something. I don't know. Time is weird in this point. Because I believe there's another, uh, isn't there another part of it? Like, I believe she wishes back Here all the, all... individual. Yeah, yeah, see, because there's Kibito, the yeah. who was killed by Dabra. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's so all the people that, like, all the good people that died that day. Yeah, uh, all the non-evil people. I wonder how many of the audience members didn't get brought back. Ooh, that's a, oh man. Tax evaders are like, child molesters. Yeah. Oh, God, he's still alive. Man, I wonder what it would have been like to just be just under that line of goodness for Shenron. Like, where's the gray area end with him? Supreme yeah, that's a good Because there's a line. Supreme Kai. Oh. My goodness. Huh. I wasn't too late. I just thought, you know what would have been kind of neat? Hmm. What are you doing here? Oh, man, but that would have caused a big plot hole. You if uh, <laughs> if, you were if Kyo, the Kaioshin had died, but then brought back by the dragon. Oh, yeah, Beerus would have died in the interim. Beerus comes back. Okay, what the hell That's just right. happened? What was that about? Can you imagine just like <laughs> Whis just sitting and reading a book while Beerus is napping? Because that's what he's doing right now. Oh, yeah. And just like Beerus disappears for a second. Hmm? Oh, that's this, not good. This could be a problem. Comes back like 10 minutes later. Oh, okay, oh good. good. It resolved itself. Tur turns the page. Beerus just continues snoring. <laughs> Doesn't even notice. Kibito, we should restore Gohan's strength. I think it really depends on exactly how Beerus dies when a, when one of the Kai's die or when the Supreme God dies. Also, here's a big fucking uh, plot hole. Hmm. How many fucking Supreme Kai are there in this? Uh, in, I mean, in this originally? Between, I know there's Kaioshin, th this Kaioshin, but there's the, the four the other Kai? Supreme Kai. What do you mean? Like there's, cause there's like Kibito who arguably is not a Supreme Kai, who's just kind of like an underling. Uh, oh, wait, wait, actually no. I know there's the Supreme Kai, but remember the old ones that died? The one that, there's, there's the fat one that Machu Buu ate? Yeah, the... I can't even remember what they were calling. Are him. they called He's, the Grand the Supreme Kai? Guys. I don't remember. He was. Uh, he he was like the lead. You know, basically, I, I imagine they have generations because there's Goasu who's like really fucking old. And oh Zamasu's yeah, who's just under him. I, I can't remember if they were the Dai Kaioshin. Yeah, that was what it was. I thought you died. And fucking. Uh, we hope you'll be able to use. I don't know. It's it's weird. You should have okay, yeah, Grand Supreme Kai, known power. as the Dai Kaio in the initial. Okay, yeah. So that's the guy that fucking. Uh, yeah, that's that's who that's who became Fat Boo basically. But there were other Kaioshin. Up, oh, Gohan gets an outfit downgrade. I like that the race is called Core Person, and yeah, this outfit is. Oh, oh boy. Good. Now I'm fashionable, just like the Kais. I like the idea that Gohan has no idea what good fashion is. Just no concept. Yeah, absolutely zero fashion sense. Just like, oh, now I look great. This is the Z sword. Huh. Now please. Yep. Let's let's, let's pull it out. Please please whip that thing out. Stop being a racist, Kibito. You're never gonna be able to do it, stupid Ningen. Yeah, but even like that, you're not gonna be able to do it. Super Saiyan. Pathetic. Well, I doubt that'll change anything. Yeah. Oh yeah, so he's like, he's the East Kaioshin. Oh, There's a bunch of the other ones. I, and he I got can't it. Believe it. So I guess as long as there's one left. Yeah. Also, uh, Gohan, now the king of England. So that's also, mm -hmm. that's also neat. Uh, he's, he's the boy who would be king. A movie that I heard good things about, but just never saw. Oh, you mean the, uh, the new would one? Be king. Yeah. yeah, apparently that was actually pretty fun. To be honest, it kind of looked like fun. Like, I wasn't going to go see I've, it myself, but... I've had several chances to see it, including on airplanes. I just haven't seen it yet. It looks like a kid's kid's it, film. It does, though, doesn't it? Like, I'll watch an animated kid's film chase. as long as it looks fun, okay. but live action ones are kind of lost Go on me now. Are both fine. Onward was good. Gohan and Vegeta, Onward was good, and I'll fucking module. fight people on that. Like, it's not the most original and it's not the funniest, but it's got a lot of heart. I, oh, bye, Chi Chi's dead. I still I still hold that if this movie was made 10 years earlier, Chris Pratt's character would have been played by Jack Black. Very hands possible. down. To me. 
Although, honestly, after seeing it, I'm really glad, glad it's not Jack Black. Well, yeah, now. I can still hear him doing it. I still always thought Greg Universe should have been Jack Black. Yeah. Oh, man. What if their dad was played by Jack Black? It sounded like he was, like... In, in the recording, he sounded a lot like Brian Cranston, but I don't think that was him. Uh, in, in, like, the, the recording of Onward, the, like, Oh, I can't voice. remember who that was. I think it might have been Brian Cranston. It sounded like him. More frightening, but, but less powerful. Let's, let, I, I, let's focus back on me. I love that that hippo dude shows up everywhere, and he's always got the backwards cap on. Yeah. Hey, what kind of freaky crap is this? Stop interrupting me! Next person who interrupts me dies. Sorry. Boo! Yeah. No, Kill the city. I'm looking for three. Poor Ginger Town. They, they they get all the bad shit in it, this it, game. Is this Ginger this Town? Do they explicitly this say that? One. They don't explicitly say it, but that is the Ginger Town model in this game. If I cannot find these three fools, because it's like the only city outside of uh, Hercule City and West City that is just sitting on a map. Do it. Do it. If I am correct. You may fire when ready. That monster! What has he done? Uh, kill the city. Blew up the city. Yeah. I will warn you one. I do love the way he rides Majin Buu like that. You yeah, it's pretty great. Tell me where those three <clears throat> are. If you do not, so I love the I love the side plot of the vengeful now. mom of Ikosa mm -hmm. and uh, Idasa. Idasa. That was stupendous. I loved that idea of she's such she's just a so petty, spiteful that like, petty. They work in West City. Damn that bug-eyed <laughs> bastard! Ever get? Does he kill her? I mean, he uh, Majin Buu eventually blows everybody, everybody up. So on. yeah, so. I don't think I don't think Bobbity kills them directly or anything, because you know he wants to reward loyalty. I know how I know that he kills one of the uh, uh, people who work at the Tenkaichi Budokai, the World Tournament people. Yeah, yeah. Remember he blows up one of their heads? Oh yeah, it's really brutal. It's holy shit. Actually, the Majin Buu saga is the most brutal arc out of the entire series. You see a lot of people die in some brutal manners. And then there's that one arc where like Boo's just wandering around on his own and he feeds that orphan a bunch of kids. That part is still so dark to you, and then, trust me, it's dark, but it never seemed that dark to me. I, I just think like the the idea of it, especially when you realize that since, uh, I mean, when Vegito pops up as the jawbreaker and he's still conscious and able to do shit, stop it! I know, right? Man, Goku's a strict fucking teacher. It's like, enough of this shit! I only you guys like get it. Hour. Everyone's dead! Everyone's gonna die unless you do what I say! I only got 12 hours left here, you little shits! So shut the Everybody fuck up! Go 10, you're doing great. <laughs> yeah, ever since you realize that the people that are turned into shit can remain sentient, that's even worse. I like to think that it's just Vegito, or like the higher powered people. I think everybody yeah. else just kind of blanks out, but... Maybe. But either way, I mean, can you think of all the people that Boo turned into his house? Oh no! Oh no! The person house? Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna go anyway. to West City. Uh, go, Trunks, you go on your own. I'm gonna pop over there real quick. Wouldn't it have made more sense? You know what? Never mind. Just, uh. Could have just teleported him there. Yeah. Goku doesn't think ahead. Bulma, take the sensor beans. The only way is down. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, why did nobody else stop that either? I don't know why he gives. Maybe it's because hey, if we take these with us and they get destroyed, yeah. Maybe it's a safety measure. Like you hold on to them and we'll send anyone who's un like damaged to you. I love. Okay, by the way, I, I love that this super time. like urgent music is playing. But they're right there. Yeah, they're just chilling here. They aren't even moving. This is go even further beyond. Yo, yeah. Listen, that's that's the line that yeah, they don't use in this. They don't. Which you know. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Why do you listen to that guy? He's a jerk. Fight me. This is uh, a super saint. Remember in the original dub where Boo here says, "Super, 
Yeah, I loved that. That was cute. Good point. All right, so question for it. Mm -hmm. kick it up it's Saiyan. Yeah. In the Japanese, Saya Jin. Yeah, for Yasai, Saya. Mm -hmm. Do you think they could have, should have kept Saya uh, for Saiyan Saiyan and not Saiyan? Because I think, I think if we just had Super Saiyan, we wouldn't really think much about it. It's kind of like the difference, but like when the dub switched over from uh, Kaioken to Kaioken. Yeah. I don't think it would make a huge difference to anybody. I think, although at, although at this point, I think Saiyan is way more. Oh yeah, more... no, you can't change Saiyan now. You yeah. can't do that. I'm not saying, should they now? But do you th uh, I, I, it would not have made a difference, except for the fact that it sounds a lot like the color Cyan. Cyan. Yeah. Three. All of my other body hair went into my back. Sorry, All of sore. it. Yeah, he's he's uh, I'm still not used to this Brazilian as mm. fuck now. You have scary face now, but Voodoo's scared. My face is handsome. Boom. Yes, <laughs> I, I I do love the idea Mama, that he has no destroy idea destroy that his eyebrows are gone. So Super Saiyan 3 is a stupid fucking form, but I like it. Yeah. Like, it it's introduced with zero plume, it is not earned at all. Uh, it it's it's a, like Super Saiyan uh, Blue like that. Like, that was my least favorite part of fucking Res F. Uh, on a list of things that I didn't like of Res F. Oh, dude, by the way, so uh, we were talking about Tony Nut Mark. Uh -huh. He's doing a full review of the entire of all of Super right now. Yeah, yeah. He just watched both Battle of the Battle of God's Ark and the Resurrection F Ark in a row. Uh huh. Oh, oh man. So he was like, okay, so the Beerus Ark is boring and didn't need to exist, but I was not prepared for Res F. Is Res F the Ark worse than the movie? Oh my God, yes. Because I've heard things like it adds some things that are better, but then. So here's the thing. You can you can conce conceptually add some really cool stuff, but if you botch it entirely, it doesn't like it might as well not if it's a, you know. By the way, we got we got a power as our battle. Theme. Oh yes, which by the way, this rendition of we got a power is a plus. But yeah, like if you if you have a cool concept but you implement it poorly, then you you botched it worse. Yeah, like and they botched it so poorly, like. Oh, hey, Ginyu's back. Like, the frog is back, and he takes over Tagama's body. Also, we kept Tagama around, because instead of killing him, Frieza just tortures him for a minute. Uh, and I'm like, okay, these are these are interesting concepts. Kind of crazy, and, you know, seems really far-fetched, but all right. But they're terrible. They, yeah. don't, they don't actually add anything, because, one, they're poorly done, and two, it is the worst animation Dragon Ball's ever had. And I... Uh, wait, are you are you including Cooler? I oh b far and away. Wow. Yeah, no, the animation in Resurrection, the Resurrection F R, the fight between Goku and Frieza is the worst looking animation. By the way, this might actually be one of the better fights to play in this game, just because you actually feel pretty good. Oh yeah, no, the movement, everything looks gorgeous. Like I haven't felt like this since uh, basically fighting Frieza the first time you go Super Saiyan. Yeah. Also, you just look amazing. That aura is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Got him. <laughs> yeah. Also, anytime where like the games, uh, I, I don't. I think I talked about this last time we recorded. Yeah. Uh, but I haven't been able to since that. So whenever the game starts you out in a like in one of your Super Saiyan forms, you don't take the penalty of uh, the keys constantly degenerating. Yeah. So you, you ne or actually no, I think you still lose key, but you will never drop form in the fight. Uh oh. What? Yeah, boo, uh, boo time done. You can't speak now, can you? Now you no can't spell the No bibbity, no bobbity, just foo. Foo, learn a lot. Bye. Bah. Ah. Bah. <laughs> I like that. That's not, good. Not even worth eating. Yep. Oh, we'll kill shit. city first. Boom. <clears throat> <laughs> ah, nice discretionary destruction shot. So I think at this point in the game, I don't think we're going to be able to travel anywhere. 
because you won't be able to travel to West City because it's gone. Oh, yeah. And, they like, they warned you about that, too. Yeah. They warned you early on, like, yo, until the end of the game. This basically. is this is it. <clears throat> you're, you're on the fast track to the end now. Here we go. Ah, oh, fuck. Now West City's gone. gone. Hope Trunks is OK. What's wrong? What's wrong? So it's toast. Yeah, no, I, I ran out of time. Yeah, my bad. Goku's time is almost over. I still wonder if he went into the time chamber, would he get the full year in there? Oh yeah, we talked about that. That, I don't think so. Like, do you think his spirit just has X amount of time on it? Like, like it's a prepaid card? Kind of, No matter yeah. where you are, it's draining. Look, we really don't have much time left. So do yourselves a favor and get ready, you two. So do yourselves a favor and just get it right. Yes, yeah, just do it, okay? God. Need to be able to how hard is it? Edges. How hard is it going to be for these two children just to lead. learn this? We did talk about this uh, last time. So First, as trained martial artists, the they've got so great control attention. over their body, and they've probably like they probably have but a great idea pose, of movement and mm -hmm. being able exactly. to recreate that movement. Um, which, show you, you know, that's that's back. actually really so interesting to think about me, because okay? when it comes to this move, it, like you have First, to get the exact movement down, otherwise you fuck up. Then yeah. Do this. Now watch the angle of your arms. Few with your arms in opposite directions. Pop culturally speaking, this is Take probably the second most uh, like iconic thing in Dragon okay. Ball. Yeah, it's. Then like we covered it's, this. it's made it into the WWE. It's Why made it into the NFL. The like people know this dance. You know, some yeah. people kept talking about that this is a transformation. You They're like, this is not like a transformation. This is a technique. Yeah, it's absolutely a technique because there's a really dance involved. Yeah, there's a whole technique involved in this technique. Or like other it's techniques. It's even called the fusion technique. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. That's a good read. To make things a little easier to follow, me and Piccolo are gonna model it for Piccolo you. Piccolo and I. What? Wait, we are? Yes. Make sure not to fuse yes, with me, okay? Now don't, just don't match my power move. level. <gasps> I just thought of something. Hmm. What if Goku fused with Piccolo you and then Baba up. shows up? Oh. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, sucker, I still got an extra half hour. Oh, god damn it. All right, your turn. One, two, one, two. We're almost ready for Welcome opening night of West Side Story. Time we take you back to the other world. When you're a shark, you're a shark all the way. Yeah, I know. Oh. <sighs> all right, fine. Piccolo, it's up to you. Right, I guess. I hope you have it memorized, dude. Goku. I do like that in Broly, Zero. Vegeta and Goku oh, go to really Piccolo like, to learn it. You know what I mean? Well, to practice Just it. Go. Yeah. Come on, Chi Chi. Don't look so sad. You still got Goten, right? <laughs> yeah, you still got one. <laughs> oh, yeah, we <laughs> talked about a three ain't bad. I forget. Did, did we talk about this last? Don't yeah, worry. we did. About how, yeah. Once she basically modeled Goten after Goku. Won't stand mm -hmm. a chance against him. If I see Gohan on the other side, I'll be sure to tell him you said hi. Even though those wishes oh. on the Dragon Ball should have brought him back by now. Yeah, okay, so that was my point. <laughs> Bringing back all the good people who died. I have a feeling that Gohan is still alive. Which puts Videl in like, yeah, no, he's still alive because everybody else came back, too. right? Yeah. It's like, yeah. Although you, although you can go from the cuter perspective of, no, I can feel it. We I mean, really that's also, I think that's there. the implied. Part. And in this universe, that actually makes sense and isn't just some stupid bullshit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, oh, I know. You want to give your dad a hug, don't you? Well, too bad we're out of time, huh? Well, maybe next time. Oh, is that uh, what you want? Why didn't you tell me? Papa just comes over, slaps his hand. No, no hugs. Also, time to go. Out. Still not getting a hug. Take good care of your mom. Yeah, that's uppies. That's not a hug. A <laughs> paw. Okay. That was the fucking cutest, like, when I still worked at Men's Warehouse, like, the Men's Warehouse I managed back in Minnesota, uh, a dad came in to get fitted for a tux, and right, he had his, like, little, like, four-year-old daughter with him, die. and she kept walking up to him, Uppies, daddy, uppies! Aww. It's just the like, cutest goddamn thing. Made my broveries just go to overload. Man, I don't know how Goku can When kiddos ask for uppies, attitude. it's like, I can't say no to that, I have to pick ah. you up! 
reminds me of um, uh, this one couple. I think it was at. It, it must have been uh, Anime Weekend I Atlanta, I think. They came with their son, career, like yes. their little baby, dressed up as little baby Gohan. Oh. And they wanted me to hold him, well, like for like a picture. I was like, really? You're gonna trust me with like literally the most precious thing you? Right. Oh my God. Thanks, Grant. Holding yeah. a baby's, yeah, huh? Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, ever I since I, Gohan's like my mid twenties, one of my friends said, "You make a good dad." And ever since then, oh, it's just been a fucking like snowball going downhill. Mm -hmm. Also, I like that Goku like immediately goes back to Otherworld and breaks the rules right away by going somewhere else. Just like, hmm. oh, there he is, poink. Well, it's, where is this anyway? Is this Otherworld? See, that's the weird thing. What the where, hell is where it, like, also is, why did they write it like that? What the hell is this place? What the hell is this? Well, we'll find out what the hell this place is. Next time. On Kakarot. I can yeah. sense his energy. Can yes, bury the lead, Goku. Be. Jesus. Find my power.